Hello, and welcome to Fourth Dimension Tarot. My name is Maria. I'm going to be your Sherpa for this read. <clears throat> if you're new to uh, watching me read, a couple things about me. One, I do a 10-card spread. The first row on top is your outward energy. The row on the bottom is kind of like your subconscious coming through. It's kind of like the feelings on the inside that's pushing your energy out. That's kind of how I read this, how I've always read this. Secondly is uh, I try to do a reading. <laughs> I'm a little late this week and please forgive me. It's been a busy week. Uh, I try to do a reading per zodiac sign at the beginning of the week to tell you how it's going to go and which is great. Um, I also do a beginning of the month reading to tell you about the month of February. Honestly, just because I'm nosy and I want to go back and see if the one I did for the week will resonate and fit into the monthly. It's really testing my own intuition. You can play along at home if you like. Uh, if you do like this reading and you feel like you, you know, this resonates with you, perfect. Hit that subscribe button uh, as you will then be notified of content as I upload it. And if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Pass this by. This isn't meant for you. Somebody else's energy is showing up, which is fair. Um, it's their reading, not yours. Happens to me all the time. Uh, check me out in a week and maybe it will resonate. No big deal. I don't need a bunch of hate mail saying it didn't resonate. I don't understand. Don't make it fit. Don't try to make it fit. It's not going to make any sense. It's just going to frustrate you. Save yourself the time and just skip me and go on to the next one. The last thing is if you feel like you know of a fellow Sagittarius that is dealing with something similar or um, you feel would benefit from any of the message in this read, feel free to share with them and spread that love message to them because everybody needs a little support, encouragement, healing, and uh, if not, entertainment, okay? Here we go. This is for Sag. This is for the week of 28th, uh, January 28th. Again, sorry for being late. January 28th through February 3rd. Bottom of the deck. This is the Three of Cups. This is lighthearted fun. It's, you know, you being as, you know, a young kid running through the field with your friends on a July night trying to catch fireflies. That's, it's just real light. It's fun. You might be going out with your friends this week, hanging out, having dinner, catching up. It's just very much a lighthearted week. That's your overall energy for the week. And that's what Spirit says is going to happen. Ooh, right underneath that is the Emperor. I'm just saying, go Sag, go. Okay, we're going to visit that in maybe in a minute. I always peek underneath because I'm nosy. I told you I was. I want to know what's going on. What's Give me the tea. Spill the tea. Tell the deets. All right, here we go, Sag. Beginning of the week, top of the week, top of your reading. Justice. Justice is an overall feeling of an injustice has occurred somewhere in your past and you want justice or you're getting justice in the situation. This is a major arcana card, meaning the divine's got their fingerprints all over this. Justice is being served. Judgment had occurred in the past through the spirit guides. So it's almost like spiritual court took place somewhere. They saw the injustice happen. And quite honestly, uh, they're coming in to make it right. That's what's happening. I hope you're on the right end of the stick here. That's all I can say. Because justice being the first card out, there are no feelings in tarot. There are no, the spirit doesn't tell, they don't have an opinion about what's happening. It's just the facts, ma'am. And they're pulling it from your energy. So justice is the first card out. Someone's getting justice this week. Right below that, I got your attention, didn't I? I know, I got my own actually. Three of pentacles. <laughs> uh, this could be business. This could be a new opportunity, new job. It could be work related. It could be just pretty generalized, but this is a work card. And this means, well, that's not true. There's three people, more, three or more people that this affects. How about that? Pentacles are commitments. They're obligations, contracts, agreements, investments, right? This isn't like ham sandwich and peanut butter making a decision. This is uh, substantial. This is a substantial life-changing move. A pentacle is a kind of a big commitment. It's yeah, it's a commitment. So either you're making a commitment, you did make a commitment, or you're working with people that, you know, that you are in a work commitment with. That's a lot. Okay, next in the line. Nine of Cups. Somebody has a lot of love. Ten is the most you can get. Ten is like the epitome. It's my Disney card. Not quite Disney. Pretty close. You're pretty happy by yourself. One person in the card. 
You might be married, you might have kids. You're, you're pretty content, you're having a great time. You're feeling a lot of love. Or you feel a lot of love towards somebody. <laughs> That's the feeling I get. I get the feeling that you have feelings, very strong feelings about a certain person. That's this card. Right, or a situation. I'll just go there. Right below the Nine of Cups, you have the devil in reverse. So the devil in the upright, as you know, because you've all heard me talk, this little guy right here, whom I adore right there, that one with his head on his hands like this, and he's uh, stuck. That's a good stuck position. And he's full of despair and remorse and kind of, sh sh you know, like guilt, shame. And he's being held prisoner by, I assume, addiction or addictive patterns by one finger of the addiction, disease, codependency. It could be a billion things. We don't know what this is. Because there's, a, and there's a lot of people on the card. I don't get really a vibe. I just get more of a, this is what this is representate, representing. Ah, uh, in the reverse. Somebody's trying to heal from, it's recovery. That's great. So they're recovering from something, right? And they're now exhibiting nine of cups. They're very, very happy. They might have love for somebody. They're waking up. This, this together is a good thing. Really good. Happy, good stuff. I don't know how to say it. I wish, some days I just wish I had a larger vocabulary when I do tarot. I'm just saying. Hmm. Okay. In the middle of the spread, right in the smack of the middle. I got the Knight of Swords here. It's rushing in, having an honest conversation. And whenever I see birds or crows, I, two, two things. One is incoming communication all by itself. If you see crows, you hear crows outside. It's supposed to be an indicator of somebody's thinking about you, talking about you. Your phone might ring in 20 minutes with this person that you were just thinking about. That That's kind of weird stuff that happens when you see a crow. They have one in, and I don't know if that's a crow. It looks more like a hawk, right? Being honest. And I can tell you about the spiritual meaning of a hawk too. Anyway, this the point is, is that somebody's rushing in, a knight is moving action, and swords are honest communication. So somebody's going to jump on that bike and rush in and have a conver an honest conversation. This is sometimes in, in Tarot, in a card is negative thoughts, a little bit of anxiety, some fear happening. So this person that's going to rush in and have an honest conversation, either with you or you're that person, has some anxiety about this discussion. That's the outward energy. The one internally, they have a lot of anxiety. Oh boy. They um, are carrying all five swords. They're picking up their swords and they're trying to collect them so they don't get cut. So this is somebody that you've had an con argument, conversation with, and they're collecting their swords and putting them in their sheath to collect their everybody's swords. They're just gonna gather them up and run back to the village and hide them in their bedroom under the bed. I don't know what they're gonna do with them, but they don't wanna get cut by them and uh, they don't wanna take the risk. So they're gonna, they're up in their head worried about it. And look, those crows are back. Those really negative thoughts. And he is up in his head. He's got one in his ear, right? I call that the itty bitty shitty committee. <laughs> they wake up some days when I'm having a really stressful week. They don't, they don't own me anymore. But when I was using, I'm just right. When I was drinking a little bit too much, my head would wake up 30 minutes before my feet hit the floor and they'd say, ma'am, we're so happy you wake. We've been thinking. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tell you how crappy your day is going to be. You should just stay in bed. Call in sick, right? That was my head. And this is how I felt most days. True story. Thank God I don't do this anymore. But this is a good indicator of what it's like living, listening to the itty bitty shitty committee in your head. And you're, you're going to fail. Why even try? Why even get up? Why even attempt it? You, you know, it's not going to win. Any, that's the message that, his, that this person is feeling. But they're not going to listen. They're going to do it anyway. They're going to get on these cute little red shoes, hop on that Yamaha, and get their butt to work or have a conversation that they really are anxious about having. What's this conversation about? What's the tea? Let's find out. It's a brand new beginning. They want to offer an opportunity. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be a brand new beginning. But it, it is somebody you know, I think. There's too much anxiety in this read. It could be you rushing in to grab an opportunity or to give an opportunity. They haven't um, disclosed that yet. So there aren't any key major players other than the devil here. I don't have anything. And that's just a fictitious feeling of, you know, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? A prisoner, you know, fictitious feeling of, I don't know, being imprisoned. Best way I can put it. So no real players here. Isn't that crazy? I'm halfway almost through your read and you're the only player in this card, in this, in this story. So we have a beginning, a brand new beginning being offered or accepted either way as it resonates. Right below that, Ace of Wands in reverse. So Ace of Wands are brand new beginnings, as you know, and the Wands are passionate, passionate new beginning, and it's in the reverse. So somebody's either rejecting it or like you're rejecting it. Somebody is not offering it. Don't know. We'll find out. I get the not. I get the not accepting it, but that's that's me. Last two cards for the week. We have the Tower card. The Tower card is where something you've built previously ha is on faulty foundation and the tower uh, falls because a situation comes, stress, um, illness, uh, job loss. It could, it could also be a good thing. It can also be a good thing, a great thing. A tower is an unexpected change. Um, so in a negative sense, it's the tower falls and it had to because it was built on a faulty foundation or the tower is an like unexpected change immediately. You won the you won the lottery. And if you did, remember the little people. I'm just saying, send me a Venmo tip. Just kidding. Kind of kidding. Okay. So we have the tower. That could be a good thing. I almost wonder if it's a good thing because right below the tower is a four of wands and it's in the upright, meaning it's a commitment. This is my marriage card in the writer <clears throat> the writer weight tarot deck is the picture it has four wands and a little um flowery banner sheath above it but it's it's depicting a wedding and actual the actual nup nuptials there's the bride and the groom and people running around and eating cake over by the castle i mean it's a full picture so you have a very good understanding what a wedding looks like right this looks like a freaking circus i never understood this but whatever i love the colors and the rest of the cards but i'm like what what is happening but it's a celebration of some form maybe <laughs> maybe uh your marriage is a bit of a circus i don't know i don't know what the, i can i can't answer that i can't say what this means but i'm telling you that's what the card means is it's a commitment so the tower and then you have a commitment Okay, and I remember when we started this, we had it, the Emperor hiding the Three of Cups. Could be a fast-moving relationship. Let's find out. What's going on for Sag this week? What's happening for Sag? Tell me about this Justice card. Because, again, we, I gave this long-ass story about spiritual, you know, judicial system happening up here. And justice is being served. Tell me more. How about this for Scorpio? That one definitely wanted to come out, so that one. Or, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. I apologize. I don't know where, maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio. I got the Two of Pentacles. I got the Five of Cups. And I got the Six of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I have the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. All right, here we go, Sag. Six of Wands is somebody wanting to win at all costs. It also means somebody coming in wanting a glorious victory, a win. The irony in, in this card is it's a small win. It's the picture that, again, that resonates with most viewers is the right away deck is where the guy is on the horse with this wand with this wreath on the top, and he's riding in after a, a victory, and the villagers come around and surround him and celebrate. Well, it's like an... A, a win it's not really a win it's a small fight <laughs> it's an unknown war and I always say it's like you know you playing against a six-year-old at checkers and you beat their tail like is that really a win really is it is it a win that's this feeling is somebody but somebody wants to win at all costs and you're like well where's my prize where's the prize in this I don't see any prize that's that's the feeling of the card Right behind it is a two of pentacles. It's an in and out also. In and out energy, back and forth, can't commit, don't know what I want, that sort of thing. Um, so this might have been the, the previous feeling of this justice card is somebody historically might have been in and out of this relationship, non-committal, and um, kind of wanting to come out to be a victor now. I don't really kind of understand that six of wands cup. Maybe, I don't know. 
uh, Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is pretty, it's a heartbreak, right? So there's Five of Cups and three of them are spilled over and they're supposedly filled with love, right? So the three that fell over, you can't get back. And in the picture, and again, the right away deck is the, you can just see a person in their profile and they're focused on the three cups that are spilled that they can't get back. There's nothing they can do about it. But right behind them are these two upright cups that if they just turned 90 degrees, picked up their cups, they'd be able to walk on to a next chapter and have a happier end ever after. But they're stuck in the three. They can't get past the three. Again, all this, all these words, but I'm telling you, that's the justice. So an injustice had occurred in the past, like I said, when I started your reading, and this is the injustice that the universe and your spirit guides are balancing for you. They're bringing justice to the injustice of the three of cups that are spilled. They're doing it by making you a victor, even though it may not feel like a victory because your heart's broken, but they're going to give you an opportunity to make a decision where somebody may have been in and out. Now they're going to be coming in right. That's my intuition. I can't make it up. I don't know another way to read it. That's just how I read it. Right below that is the three of pentacles. Remember when I said three in a couple, <laughs> one too many people, one too many people in a relationship. You have the seven of cups and it is in the reverse. So previously there were quite a few options and you're eliminating them down to one. That's the dis that's the justice is the justice is out of all the opportunities, the person is choosing you again. Is it a win? <laughs> is this the prize? That's I wasn't good enough before, but now I'm the only I'm the best option. Is that really a win? That's kind of the vibe I get. Can't I'm just telling you. The Ten of Pentacles, this is what they want. They want their Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is everything. The family, the car, the 401, the, you know, like the trips, the memories, all of that. They want, they want to eliminate all the options down to you and they want to come after you as they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. Sag, put on your running shoes. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy week. Sag. So you've gotten over a heartbreak and you're pissed. I can't even, this energy is sarcasm. This our energy right here is, mm, I don't know. This looks like a Cracker Jack prize to me. And somebody's like, but I'm choosing you. Yeah, out of all the other options, sure. Okay, that's the vibe I get. And the irony is the card that is next to describe the Three of Pentacles is the Queen of Cups in reverse. So the Queen of Cups is my kindergarten teacher card. She is loving, kind. She is like a warm blanket. She's safe. She's nurturing. She will support you. She will coddle you. She will love you to death. This I love her. Love, love, love her. I know I, I sound sarcastic, but in the upright. This girl ain't in the upright. So imagine a 180. You don't want this kindergarten teacher. <laughs> I had her, she'll smack your hand if you get out of line. And, you know, I went to a different, I went to a private Catholic school. They would just, you know, like if they, you weren't, mm, I saw kids' ears be beat red from being pinched. I've seen it all. This is this person. So this person is showing up in your read right over the three of pentacles. You're like, really? Hmm, okay. Not the queen of cups. No, no. Mm -mm. Tell me about this nine of cups. Sagittarius is in town. <laughs> she's, she's showing up for a reading tonight and she's a little hot. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I get. Nine of Cups. Here we go. Your Nine of Cups. Happiest almost to the 10. Super, super happy. Somebody's going to rush in. Rush, rush, rush in. Have, like, this is fast. Lots of communication. Text, phone calls. Right behind that, offering you a brand new beginning with a, an opportunity, a cup. These are the Ten of Wands. This is a burden to you. This is a, this is like, are you for real? <laughs> I can't tell. I give. I can't tell you. I'm not even laughing. I'm just like, this is the sarcasm you're feeling. I'm like, are you for real right now? For real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. That's the feeling, huh? Really? That's the feeling I get. That's the, that's the feeling I get. And then right below this energy is the reverse. It's recovery. I'm healing. I'm, I'm, and they might be, I don't know. I don't know your story. I don't know who's watching this, but this is the energy that's coming off of this card is I'm, I'm a reformed person. Tell me about this devil in reverse for Sag. Give Sag some advice about this devil in reverse. Thank you. 
Yeah, I bet. So we got, <laughs> we got the wheel. I want to turn the wheel back. I bet you do. Yes, I bet you do. So the wheel is um, two things. Okay, all, all jokes aside, the wheel is a, the divine coming in and offering you blessings. That's the, the meaning of the card, actually. It is a divine arcana card. Your Sherpa team sees the injustice that has occurred, the first card out, and is going to shower somebody, if this is you, with blessings. Remember when I told you that um, spiritual, the spiritual judicial system had a meeting on the 5D and it's now playing out in the 3D. So this person over here might be exhibiting some karma and you might be getting some blessings. But that's what that means. And maybe the blessings are that this person ends up in recovery. I don't know. It's falling on the inverted uh, devil, the devil in reverse. And again, devil isn't really a devil. It's really just addiction, toxic behavior, things that are, whatever they were doing is now being undone. And I do believe it wouldn't fall like this if that there's some truth here. It would be lie, sword, you know, wand. It would be a lot of BS. This is not BS. This is like, the divine is like, I heard you cry and we're answering your prayer and we're going to get this person some help. Got the eight pentacles. Eight of pentacles is you're working really, really hard. They want to invest. This is a heavy duty investment card. They're working hard and they're watching their pentacles grow and it's accumulating. It could be wealth. It could be, it could be stability. It could be blessings. It could be a number of things. It's over the uh, devil card. It's the two of wands and the two of wands are out because he's got to make a major decision, right? If he's going to jump in or I get in, I get masculine energy, but it could be anybody or it could be a female. I don't know. I, maybe they're just showing up masculine. I'm not sure, but they, um, this is a major, major decision. It's not like ham sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. This is, uh, this, this person in this card is looking to take a year long committed trip and she's figuring out where do I want to go? How do I want to spend my hundred dollars a week allowance in my RV, you know, and she's trying to figure out her plan for the next 365. It's a heavy burden. That's this. It's a major decision. They're putting a lot of thought into this. And right, bef right behind that is I got the Knight of Wands, or yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Upright player. He's my Saturday night here for a good time, not a long time. That's this card. And the reverse is reformed, right? Don't want to do that anymore. Not quite a king. I don't see a king out. Nope, I do not see a king. I see the knight still. Okay, Sag, let's find out. Tell me about this knight of swords. So now I have a knight of wands and a knight of swords. Knight of wands is player, previous, reformed, right? In the reverse. And then I have the knight of swords. And the knight of swords is uh, incoming fast communication, and it's honest. It is. The divine is saying, this. you can trust this. This is honest communication. Tell me about this knight of swords. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's in the reverse. Remember what I said about karma? <laughs> Remember when I said that? Just a minute ago. Somebody's going to be getting blessings. Yeah. Somebody's going to get karma. Okay. All right. Mm, all right. Bottom of the, of the deck is the world. The world is a period. It's a period, not a comma. It's the end of a chapter. Could be an ender, ending of a chapter in addiction. It could be an ending of this chapter, of this relationship. I had an emperor and to be fair, he's on his side. In the upright, he's all four kings, solid, mature. He balances out in every area of his life. And he does a pretty good job because he's managing four kingdoms, right? He's doing a lot. In the reverse, he's immature, narcissistic, self-centered, blah, blah, blah. In the center, he might be going through recovery. He's on his way to becoming the emperor in the upright. He might be looking at some crap that he didn't ran from and he didn't want to face, but something happened, which requires a brutal, honest conversation, probably with you and a whole bunch of therapists and I don't know, pastor. I get like, he has a team that's supporting him through this. Otherwise he'd still be in his addiction, right? And acting like a fool or he'd be upright and this would be a whole different person that I'm talking about, but I'm clarifying the Knight of Swords. Who's coming in? This guy. This guy is the person coming in to have an honest conversation. Or it could be anybody, female, male, doesn't matter. This person, they're just embodying 
they're telling me the person who's doing this and the reason they're telling me this is that the empress in reverse does not mean the same as the emperor in reverse which is what i think i needed to tell you narcissistic childlike uh self-centered liar i could keep going like they're just immature overall acting nuts now if they're in addiction completely makes sense <laughs> they're out of their mind their addiction has taken over they're not at home and the devil's driving the truck right and this is um i'm figuring that out i'm trying to look at my behavior and how it's affecting other people and me and right and they're working on it that's what this card means this is what this incoming communication is about man i hope i'm right because this is this is pretty clear to me i just hope it resonates with you we got the five of wands in reverse so this is a previous relationship that was based on arguing fighting deceit lies lack of trust right in the reverse is i want to go back and fix this i recognize this as toxic and uh didn't didn't serve any of us we got nothing out of this and i recognize that today and i don't want to do it that's this card backwards we have the magician. It's like, I have all the resources I need to make this right. It's also a little bit of magic. Now it can be black magic. I just am telling you the meaning of the card. Don't read into it. If it's not you, let it pass by. It also means medicine, right? It also means they could be getting some help, right? They could, they're trying to manifest something out of nothing. That means a lot if they're trying to make something out of nothing. It's like making a job out of a service. This is making something out of nothing. What I'm doing here right now, I have a full time and I love my full time, but I love this too. This is one of my passions. I'm manifesting something out of nothing. That's what this is. Very similar. This person is making, if they're going into sobriety, they're doing it on a wish and a prayer. They have no hope. They've never had a, they haven't drawn a sober, non-toxic day for years. That's what this means. And the divine, believe it or not, has got their fingerprints all over this. And it is abundance, it's infinity. It will be, if they get sober, it'll be consistent, right? It, that's the offering. I know that's a lot, but that's what, I'm just telling you everything that the card says to me and what they wanna rush in and tell you. They see you as their queen of pentacles. Now again, queens can be the male figure too. A woman can be rushing in and saying, you're stable, you're kind, you're nurturing, I can rely on you. You're very creative. A you too can make something out of nothing. You pull a rabbit out of your hat on a daily. You can feed 10 people with a potato. That's what, you know, they are creative. They're, they are solid. They run, um, like they run, they can run 50 kingdoms, right? I know the emperor can do four, but this woman can do a lot. She isn't even the empress, but she embodies. She's part of the empress. She's one of the four. And I'm asking, what is he gonna say? What what is he what's he running in to say? What's what's he gotta say? What's so damn important that you're getting on a Yamaha from 1982 and coming in and talking? What are you gonna what are, what's gonna come out of your mouth? I see you as my queen and you took care of me and I didn't say thank you and I took you for granted and I didn't appreciate all the wonderful things you did and rescuing me and I recognize my behavior has been toxic. I'm going to try this. I'm going to give it 110%. I don't want to fight anymore. I want to come to your side and I want to be the man that you've always expected. That's the vibe. In their head about it though, back and forth. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think it's about the recovery. I think it's a conversation. They blew it. They know they blew on it and I don't know if they can fix it. They need to help from their spirit tribe this isn't that they're not available it's just fresh it's like new they haven't really tapped into this yet they're just learning and they're trusting it this is pretty strong like look at this like one in one in the same when they get up they talk to they talk to if this is you and you have a solid relationship with your sherpa team you talk to them all day you're like should i brush my teeth with crest or with this other brand like this is how, I mean, you just talk to them all day long. You listen to praise and worship music. You are praying throughout the day. You are solid. They are just beginning their walk. They haven't tapped into their intuition. They don't really trust anything out there. They've been relying on their own resources. That's the vibe I get. Pretty strong vibe. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. What's this new beginning that's coming forward to Sag?
Okay, that's way too many. Spirit, come on now. Okay, that makes sense. So, Ace of Pentacles defined as Page of Pentacles. So not only is it a new beginning they've been thinking about and sitting on, they're going to come and talk to you about it. This page is a communication. Can't make this up. Here it is. Coming in to have a conversation with you. They're still up in their head, back and forth. Not sure if you want to hear from them. That's the vibe I get. Not, not that they're, should I make a decision about this decision? They've made the decision. In fact, here's validation that they made the decision. They see you as a seven of pentacles. They don't want to lose the investment that they've given. This is a relationship of some form. They, even if it's a strong friendship, they don't want to lose this, right? They see you as their lifeline. They don't want to lose this. This isn't a decision about whether or not they're going to come and have a conversation. This is a decision not whether you're going to accept or what they have to say. That's what this is. They see you as their star and they definitely want, they want to heal it. But more importantly, um, this is their wish fulfillment. Like this, they, this is their eating their lunch every day. This is bothering them that they can't make it right. They don't know how to make it right. They need to make it right. And this, whatever this is, is stopping them from making it right. Right beneath is the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Now, when I first was reading this, I remember thinking like, there's a lot of, awesome cards here and this one's in the reverse hmm so ace of wands are passionate sexual careful for the younger kids in the room but this is um a brand new passionate relationship no bueno he this person's saying i'm not seeking this i'm not just after this i'm not looking for a quick opportunity. I am looking for an investment. This is this is really about your relation, your partnership, your pinnacles. And pinnacles can be money, but I don't get this as just financial. This is the whole thing, right? And but this is in the reverse. You may not want a passionate new beginning because I did see the world and again we didn't define the world because it really isn't in your spread. It was a like a supporting actor in the story. It's a, like out in the outer skirts of the vibe. It's, um, you might want, you, it might be the ending to the relationship. Some of you might say, I'm out, check it out. Some of you might say, although I know what that is, that's the end of the addiction. They went to treatment last month. They're celebrating a month, whatever. whatever. You'll know what that world means. I won't know. I'm just reading, I just work here, right? But I want to clarify these cards well enough so you, this makes sense to you. So when you're planning what's coming in, you're prepared. So let's talk about the Ace of Wands in reverse for Sag. Anything? Mm. I think I'm holding them too tight. I'm so I'm so excited. I want to know. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is that anxiety card. Um, they have some anxiety, kind of like the Five of Swords right next to it. So the Seven of Swords is there has been arguing and fighting recently. They have, and maybe not with you, maybe with others, but they're gathering their swords. I think it's about the situation. I think family, could be family. They're arguing with family about the situation. They're picking up their swords and they're collecting them so they don't get cut for future conversations. They're trying to get all the ammunition put away. They're gonna, they're gonna go shove it under their bed and hide it so that you nobody can use it. They don't want anybody to know, but it's not hiding the dirt. It's more like defending the character, right? That's what, and, and there is some deceit. Truly, there's some, there's some defensive childlike kind of behavior to this, right? This Ace of, this passionate new beginning in the reverse is maybe that's how you see this person is not, not able to fight and not able to be honest. I don't know. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands in reverse, please. King of Swords. You want an honest conversation with the king, and you want the king to show up. This is the first character card on your spread. The first one for male, right? I guess the emperor was here. My apologies. Okay, that's the overall vibe. This is who you want to talk to. You want to talk to this guy. So the King of Swords knows... He, he's going to be straight with you. He, that's the only way I could say it. This person, it could be female as well. 
but you want them to put the swords down, lose the fear of having the conversation and the deception so you can have a passionate new beginning, but you are not comfortable in starting a damn thing forward until this guy shows up and has a conversation with you about what you're gonna do. You have a tower at the be at the end of your week. Let's find out what that means. But it's over the four of wands, which is marriage, right? So maybe that's the shock. They're gonna just ask you to marry them. I don't know. And I don't wanna blow your surprise, uh, you know, but I wanna find out what about this tower. How to do it. Tell me more about this tower spirit. Got the king of pentacles, super stable. CEO runs the show. That's the, I'm asking for the definition. This is a key character in the tower. Tell me more spirit. Sag, tower. I'll pull them off the top. They hate it when I can threaten them. Thank you. <laughs> They're like, I don't like it. You're gonna have to call in your intuition. You're gonna have to call in your intuition. And it's five of pentacles. Somebody feels left out in the cold. You, um, that's that's the feeling. They're, I think the coming in is gonna shock you. And they're gonna tell you, I feel left out in the cold. You're gonna have to use your intuition uh, and call on your spirit guides to know what to do. I think the tower fell. The tower fell back here. You're just uh, dealing with it. They Maybe you haven't seen them since the tower. Maybe they were locked up. I don't know. I'm not you. I don't know the story. I get the sense that there was a break here. And they're now coming to terms with this, whatever this is, and wanting to talk about this. They want to restore whatever you had before by addressing the elephant in the living room right now. Tell me about the four of wands. I think it's he wants to have a conversation about marriage. There's no reason why the marriage card would be here. There's a three of pentacles that made more sense at the beginning. I'm like, that makes sense after judgment. Yeah, hello. And after justice. Too many pentacles. Yeah, I want my ten of cups. I can't make this up, y'all. That's the marriage card. That's the tower card. This is going to shock the hell out of you. That this person who may have been bitey and deceitful and said some pretty mean words with fighting and it kind of dissolved and broke apart. Anything else for, it, for this read? Anything else for this read for Sag? Any, anything. Sit in, your, sit in your high tower, go into hermit stage and evaluate. Evaluate if this is what you want and ask the divine because this is a major arcana and they will direct you. Promise you, they will direct you. I promise you they'll show up. You cry out, they'll show up. And this is over the tower. Or, excuse me, it's over the, uh, for, of, what, what are you going to do, right? Sometimes nails, I'm telling you. But this is, what am I going to do about the marriage card, about the commitment, or about the long-term engagement? And right beneath it is a ten of cups. It's going to make you happy. You're thrilled. You're thrilled with the conversation. You, you're fine just from hearing the truth, the whole truth. And this king showed up and gave you the whole truth. Now you can make a decision about what you want to do, right? About the the major arcana that was uh, Hierophant, right? But he's feeling, or this person is feeling left out in the cold and you're moving forward and they don't want you to do that. But you're gonna have to use your intuition and make a decision and you're kind of in your head about it. Tell me any last words. You got the nine, nine of swords. This has brought you a lot of anxiety and pain. You might, and especially connected to the hermit. I get two things with this card. One, don't get stuck. Don't, because this is the wounded, it's a wounded warrior. No, that's a nine of wands. I'm sorry. Nine of swords up in your head. It can mean miscarriage. It, it's a significant loss, right? And you might, and that's like dark thoughts, like really dark dark anxiety, energy, negative thinking. My concern is, is that you're gonna get stuck because that like right next to the 10 of cups, this is what you're thinking. It, I, do I wanna drop this? He's the love or she's the love of my life, right? Do I wanna walk away from this because of this one incident? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. Everybody's situation is different, but that's a lot of, that's a lot of pain. 10, 10 is my cadaver card. Can't put one more sword in the body. It's good. It's dead. This is nine. You're. It's cranked pretty high. It's. I can't deal with one more thing. One more. Done. 
and you're in your head about it. And you're supposed to be. That's where God wants you. That's where your Sherpa team puts you in this high tower alone. No, no Instagram, Facebook, nothing distracting, no music even. You're sitting there evaluating this whole situation to see if you want to invest and move forward or not. Okay, last one more card. Anything for Sag for this week? Page of Wands, somebody's going to come in and have a conversation about a passionate new beginning. And it's not just sex. This isn't about sex. This is a, you're my heart's fulfillment. You complete me, as Jerry Maguire would say. It's going to put you in a spirit of Queen of Swords where you're going to expect an honest conversation, matches the King of Swords, and you're going to have an honest conversation, but you have your hand on that, on that sword. Not afraid to cut somebody if they come incorrectly or dishonest you're going to have a very sharp conversation and then you got the queen of wands in reverse and the queen of wands in the upright is fun lively life of the party friendly you're not you're depressed you're sad and spirit's saying hey you're gonna feel this way again but you got to make a decision you're gonna have to go inward and decide what you want what do you want off the notebook Anything else for Sag? This might be where I leave it with you, Sag. I don't know. My Saggies. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. They're going to come in and offer a new beginning with you, which we kind of knew because you had a couple other Pentacle cards out here. Yep. You might walk away or you might come back. It's your choice. It's your, always your choice. You've been given self, self will, freedom. And uh, I'm very excited. I want to know exactly how this plays out, Sag. Tell me at the end of the week. Get a hold of me on the 4th of February. Lastly, and again, timelines are, can be a little off because, like, again, we have self-will, so we may not stay on the timeline. We may ignore intuition. We might feel like we want to rush in. We just don't. We're just like, too feel of fear. It might take them an extra week or two. I'm just saying. But that's your future. It might even take them two weeks. I don't know. Um, that's your immediate future. If you feel like this was entertaining, educational, informational, or supportive, please feel free to give me a like, as well as hit that subscribe button so you're notified of future content. And that way I don't have to send an email because I won't. I'm telling you, I just don't have time. And I could barely get this out on time. And I didn't get it on time. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic week. And until the next time we see each other, love and light. Take care.